All right, what is going on, guys? Welcome to day number two of Vladoff Allegiance Flak. So when we last left off, guys, we had some really good luck out of red chest. We were able to score us an infinity. Uh, we got this one out of a white chest. Uh, we got a couple legendary class mods. And yeah, we just kind of got some random stuff. Got a fish slap towards the end of the video. Uh, currently, we got a few skills in the blue tree. We have some here in the blue tree due to our class mod. Uh, and then, of course, we have one point in the Fast and Furious. Furious? However you say that. And then we're also specking kind of down the red tree because we're primarily focusing on rack attack. So, yeah, I think what we are going to be doing today is we're going to hop over to Arms Race and try to get us a Firefly because it is not going to be that great towards later on in the game. And then we are also going to be going to the area with Katagawa Ball. So we'll be able to kill Dinklebot and get us a Lucian's Call. So that is on the agenda for today. Thank you. All right. Oh, dude, let's go. We actually started with a Vladoff pistol. Now I gotta remember where in the gosh dang heck the Firefly chest is. Because I don't remember for the life of me. Two piece. <laughs> Don't see that guy come out of the damn corner of my eye there. Oh, oh God. Foxy's oh, bouncing pair is dangerous. Jesus. Oh, that legendary. I don't know what it is. Thanks, game. A clockwork res, I can see it from here. That's so annoying. Well, we at least got a hex out of it. Okay, well, that sucks to start this runoff. We don't get a Vlad off, period. Uh, so that is definitely problematic so we're gonna have to go try to find us a gun hopefully I'm gonna go to a couple spots where I know there's chests at some days you hunt, some days you are oh there it is oh god I gotta extract this where is the nearest extractor there's one right over here Okay, we're we're out. I'm gonna let y'all handle that. Y'all y'all do your thing. Try to hit him in the air. Fuck you. Right, and clockwork res extracted. Flat off weapon damage! Oh my god! You know, I'm right next to it anyway. We're just gonna go ahead and guarantee this uh, this class mod. Alright, cool. So there we go guys, we got the Firefly. We also got this class mod with flat off weapon damage. If only that at the bottom said flat off weapon critical, but it's fine. Uh, we got us a hex grenade, and then we got ourselves a brand new sniper, which is fire, pretty good. And then we got ourselves a blue cryo assault rifle as well. I am pretty hyped to use this thing. So overall, I say we got ourselves a pretty good little chunk of stuff here. I'm going to just kind of upgrade the gear here. So obviously we have ourselves a new assault rifle. Ah, I'm so happy about that. Uh, and then I think for a little bit, I might swap off of the launcher, go with the firefly. And then we just have the infinity sitting here in case we need to do some damage. And I'm going to check out the skills on this class mod here before I decide to throw it on. But yeah, man, that was a really good arms race run. Uh, I got the Firefly in two runs. We also leveled up three times, so I have a few points I can kind of use here. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll just throw 
throw them in here and then we get ourselves an additional rack when we shoot that out uh, and I'm gonna keep it on the spider ant scorcher just because I get uh, elemental damage and stuff so that's pretty good but yeah, uh, arms race was definitely very good to me. So we don't have to go back there until we want to get the... Oh, God, I'm drawing a blank. Got to get my little reference sheet here. Uh, what is it? Ah, gosh. Got it. There we go. All right. So we're going to come back, get us some ludograms here. Pet, come back over here. All right, so anyway... Get us a ludogram here, and then we will be able to come back and get us a nice Lucian's call, which I'm pretty hyped about. Yeah, level up. There we go. Yeah, dang. I, okay. I low-key... This is, my uh, this, this is just an idea. You know how funny it would be if Tedior was like the, the manufacturer you fought in uh, Borderlands 4? You know, like they just kind of get tired of people like talking shit and so they just decide they're like, you know what, we're, we're, we're going to be villains. And fastball. Drop to something. Ah, good, good lord. Jesus Christ, son. I just wanted to see what I got. Are we just gonna get. Glad off weapon accuracy. Dude, are we gonna get like every class mod before we even get like halfway through the story? Like, my god. Alright, so. I currently have 10 ludograms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're gonna see if we can't get something here from old Earl. If we don't, I'm gonna be so sad. I would say we got him. Got a fire one. Got two fire ones. And we got a butcher that we unfortunately can't use. But hey, we did get a couple, so we'll see how to kind of how they compare to each other here. They're the exact same, identically, uh, except for the looks like the sight. See what we what we got here. I already had it equipped. Yeah, that'll be fine. Cool. So we got ourselves a Lucian's call. Right on. Easy. Uh, but I think what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and go to the Villa Ultraviolet, aka the place in Borderlands 3 that has the best music in, in the entirety of the franchise. Dude, let's go. Yup. Ah. I was excited when we got to the Dinklebot area. I was like, man, we can finally go and grab us one of these. I really enjoy this gun. Oh, Ooh. That was a one bullet double kill, it looked like. That was sexy. <laughs> That's that's an insult. Got another Lucian's call. This one is Cryo. No more damage. Nice. Let's go. Oh, rip Joey Ultraviolet. Jesus. Kill these guys real quick for some extra XP before I kill him. Not his ass, and I level up. Let's go. Blocker and a grease trap. 
All right, so I think what we're going to do next, uh, just because I think it's kind of an ongoing meme so far in this video that I'm just going to collect every freaking class mod known to man in this game <laughs> uh, for Plaque, I'm going to go ahead and start DLC 4. And what we're going to do on there, since we also have some weapons that we're going to be uh, going for in DLC, we're also going to be going after a very specific class mod. So I figure now would be a good time to go ahead and just go over to DLC 4, uh, and we'll just kind of get that whole thing started up. You had to come interrupt the playthrough, didn't you? Hmm? Yeah, it was a good dream. Okay, we're buying that. So I like pointing this out just because I think it's cool. Uh, one of the reasons why I love this DLC so much is because I actually met the guy who voiced Krieg. Uh, he also voices Beerus the Destroyer from Dragon Ball Super and uh, he was at a Dragon Ball Con. And I had a chance to talk with him and his line moved very slow because he like actually took time to talk to everyone that came through his line. I got to ask him some questions and just kind of chat with him. Uh, very, very awesome guy, and so uh, Krieg was already one of my favorite characters. But just talking to somebody who was like behind the voice of Krieg and just seeing that like he was a genuinely nice guy uh, was definitely really awesome. God, I am at one. Ooh. Okay, that was almost very bad. Convergence, Golden Buzz Axe. Let's go, and then we have a Pat MK3 that we can't use. Sweet. Love, baby. Power beyond measure. Skills beyond count. All right, guys. I'm going to show you a good way to farm some class mods here in DLC 4. So I'm currently on the mission uh, remodel behavior, and I am right here on the map. It's a pretty good walk. Uh, there is a um checkpoint station around here there's also one i think right around here uh, if you go to this one you always have an ammo machine this one's a little bit shorter of a walk the mission will be right here after you defeat benedict for the mission uh that's a part of like the main quest so you'll get some stuff done you'll draw on this guy's portrait here and then he comes out he is the caretaker and he is a really good way to get class mods i cannot believe one just dropped as i'm talking about that but uh basically you just have to do some trivial things for Krieg in this little room here. And basically, uh, you'll get him to spawn, save, quit, and you can kind of keep, you know, just keep going back and killing him and then getting some class mods from this DLC, which is really nice. Uh, so I'm going to be spending some time farming him and working on getting the class mod that I'm after, but I wanted to show you guys that real quick. Glorious quarry. No freaking way. Sorry, I was listening to music. Dude, we got it. Flat off weapon damage, flat off accuracy. We're going to ignore the bottom one, but dude. Oh my god. Let's go. All right, so I got to show you guys how many drops I got before I actually got that one. Let's see, you got six. I got seven class mods before that one finally dropped. So there it is, guys. The Peregrine. Whenever Flak hits an, or whenever Flash Rack hits an enemy, they drop their grenade. And so basically, whenever you throw out your racks, whatever grenade you have equipped, that is what comes out. Oh, finally, we got it. Alright, bro. Distract them. You missed. Alright. So I think now we're pretty much done with the Krieg DLC. So now we can get back to the story.
All right, so real quick, I just wanted to demonstrate this uh, with the grenade that I like using. Uh, and when I got this game again and started going through with Flak uh, before I was recording and making videos, I used the gas call. So the reason why I'm not using the gas call for this playthrough is because we just had an entire playthrough where that was like basically the only grenade I used. So real quick, I'm just going to show the, the class mod off. So call in your racks, hits a target, and then your uh, grenade goes off. So as you guys can see, their skull's coming out. And it's so fun uh, just using the gas call with it because, I don't know, it just does a lot of damage. But think about experimenting with some grenades and just hopefully, see, hopefully finding something fun. <laughs> That's what I'm fucking talking about. Hell yeah. yeah! This is like level 23. Man, this is a cool gun. I like this. I'm glad I went and got this. Yeah, you show him Spider Ant. <laughs> My Spider Ant just didn't give a fuck. God, that hurts. Anyway, we have made it to the part of the story where we are finally on Eden 6. So I think that is a good stopping point for today. We got a lot done. And I noticed something a little bit earlier uh, after I kind of got done demonstrating the grenade and the new class mod and everything. This video kind of had like nods to the three previous playthroughs. We started an arms race, we went to the cartel event, and then we rocked a little gas call action. So kind of a nice little send back to all three previous series that I did, which was, so you know, you know, it's kind of nice. But anyway, the gear, thank you chair for ruining that moment. The gear we're rocking with here, we have this pistol. Uh, as soon as we get to the anvil, we will definitely be upgrading the pistol, I imagine. Uh, we got a new Lucian's Call from a Typhon drop. I kind of prefer the fire one, just that's just how I am. We got this Septimator Prime, which is really fun to use. I might actually go get another one once we beat the game and reach Mayhem levels. Uh, I haven't upgraded my launcher just yet, just because I've only had three weapon slots. Uh, I got a new shield, got this amazing Peregrine class mod with bla or blad off weapon damage and accuracy uh, rocking the recurring hex we have some other stuff we can kind of work with to kind of you know shoot our grenades whenever we call our rack uh, and then we have a buttload of class mods because we keep getting them and then the infinity has kind of fallen off to be honest with you so I stopped using that show you guys the skill tree real quick uh, we have an extra point here in interplanetary stalker I was gonna butcher that probably uh, and we also have three points in Ambush Predator, just kind of working down the red tree since Rack Attack, of course, is going to be our main action skill. Uh, one point here just from our class mod, uh, and then three points here. I believe we also have, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty much what we're kind of rocking with at the end of day two. We got a lot of stuff done today, and then when we come back, we will be tackling Eden 6, kind of going through it. Um, if we have to go re-gear, go do something else, we... Uh, We'll go do that, but I'm going to try to get through Eden 6 as quick as possible. And then once we beat Eden 6 and get through all that, it is pretty much kind of wrapped up. Like the rest of the story, it just kind of hits you and it's done. So, yeah. See you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for the support. Take care. Have a wonderful day, guys. Don't forget to like, follow, and obey.